Welcome back. Yes, back to Pokemon Scarlet. It's been a while since I, l I last played this game. <clears throat> the last thing we did in this game was Shiny Hunt for Roaring Moon. You can see what you can see the title, you can see what we're doing. First, I got to get the update. I was debating if I was even going to do this tonight. Now, it is currently 9.40. It's a little bit later, just a little bit. A little bit later because I had a couple of minutes on my sandwich left and I wanted to use that up first. I was hunting Orthworm before I, was, before I started this. And in that hunt... I didn't get an Orthworm, but I did get a Shiny Capsicid. So just before starting this, I got a Shiny Capsicid. That is also not the only Shinies that I got today. I think there's a raid right here. Let's go. Today I got... Today, firstly, I got a Shiny Tapu Koko in Pokemon Go. First raid of the day, and my second raid overall for Tapu Koko, and I got the shiny. And then, little, let me just check these, just in case. Because they're so hard to spot. I see no difference. And then earlier tonight, just before eating dinner, I got me a shiny Magnemite in Pokemon Go. <clears throat> so three shinies today. Not bad. Let's see, is this a Greninja raid? After I pick this up. It is! Okay. So I traded from my other game this! My level 100 Quagsire, which. Quagsire? Claude Sire. Which I made literally just for this. Here are the moves I have. Whatever the hell that stuff on the right means. You know, Zunda Mouse, he helped me trade this for my other game. He took a look at my Claude Sire, he's like, what the hell is this? He's like, bruh, did you EV train it? Or is it IV? I think it's EV. He's like, did you EV train this? I'm just like, nope. Wait, I need to put that in my party. I told him. Like I told you guys many times, I only care about shinies. That's it. I don't do competitive. I don't EV train, IV train, all the uh, other stuff train. I don't do that. I need a... What I do whenever these seven star raids pop up is I just pick out a Pokemon. I make it level 100 and I just slap on a couple moves. That's essentially all I do. If I feel like it, I'll put on an item. Now this one, I gave it the wide lens, because Greninja here has double team. And yeah, that's about all I'll do. So Zundamouse actually helped me out when he, when I traded this Claude Sire over to that game, over to his game, to trade back to, into this game. He helped me use a couple of bottle caps on this thing's uh, stats. I didn't even have to ask him for that, he just went ahead and helped me do that, so... Thank you so much to him. You may have noticed I also got a Cinderace in this game. Wow, maxing out your IV for you? Yeah, he said he gave all of them 31. I assume that means maxed out. <coughs> Yeah, 31 is max? Okay. Like I said, I, re I really don't care about this stuff. I don't know anything about this stuff. All I do is shiny hunt. That's it. Hopefully acid spray lands. 
right. Ice Beam shouldn't do too much. Alright, literally just chisel off a piece of his HP. Excellent. Heal me. Anyways, as I was saying, so you may have noticed that I did get myself a Cinderace in this game. Now, I wasn't able to show myself winning that raid. You guys just saw me fail Cinderace raids like a whole ton. See, I didn't know Cinderace would have a second round for its raids. I didn't know that. And the night I planned to do Cinderace raids and actually win them, the night I decided to do that was the night that Cinderace was ending. The second batch of raids. So I didn't have time to actually show myself do it, so I just had to come on and do it on my own. What happened to all the Pokemon? Where'd the Greninja go? There we go. Now, unfortunately, if Greninja uses Ice Beam on me now, I'm screwed. Wow, that did extremely little. Greninja is no joke. See? Oh, I thought that would do more. Never mind. Holy crap, that does so little. I thought after a couple acid sprays, this would do more, even after terrestrializing. I suppose not. <clears throat> that does astronomically little. Maybe I should do a chilling water. Look at my time compared to Greninja's health. Hey, can you do that Hydro Pump move on me one more? That way I can get healed up. Here, maybe before I get knocked out, I can I can just use a chilling water on you. So I did already get a Greninja in my Violet game. And that's mostly thanks to everyone else doing all the work for me. Because clearly, I don't know what I'm doing. I didn't even IV train for this. Ninja's HP somehow went extremely low, but our time is extremely low as well. Oh, of course, Earthquake would miss. Land, 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 land. Hit, 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 not hit me! Damn it! I think that may have cost it. EV train, whatever. Something train. If it's not if it's not E or I, it's another vowel. <clears throat> well, decent try, decent attempt. Maybe not on my end. You know, Tapu Koko showing up in Pokemon Go again reminded me that the Paradox Pokemon in this game, their wacky names, is not the first time Pokemon have done Pokemon names that are just two separate words. Because I forgot, the four Tapus are exactly that. And then I also got reminded that every Violet Paradox Pokemon, starting with the word Iron, given how lazy that is, that's also not the first time that they've done that. All four Tapus start with Tapu. Tapu Coco, Bulu, uh, Lele, and Finny. 
all of them start with Tapu, so it's not the first time they've done this. Ah, Klefki. An out-of-the-box choice. I did see Verlicify's video on him setting up a Klefki. And you know, speaking of videos, something I'm hyped to watch after I'm done recording. Well, yeah, somewhat recording this. <laughs> Recording slash streaming this. Something I'm excited to watch is that today, Nintendo Capri Sun posted his first video in his Zelda Minish Cap LP. I have been waiting for him to play this game for so long. And you know what else I've been waiting for? For so much, for so long, for so much longer? I've, I'm still waiting. For him to do a Mario Galaxy LP. I've been waiting for that for over a decade at this point. Because ever since he played Galaxy 2, I've been waiting for him to play Galaxy 1. And he never did. And as of this moment, he still hasn't. He's gotta play it at some point, and I will continue to wait until he does. Great, keep using Hydro Pump on me. <clears throat> no, don't use Ice Beam on me. Part of me feels like Acid Spray's not doing anything. <clears throat> okay, whatever you do, don't use... Ice Beam on me, especially now. Feel free to use Hydro Pump, though. Oh, of course I was poisoned. Oh my god, that does so little! Well, I had Earth Power recommended, and not Earthquake. Maybe there's a reason for that. <clears throat> Maybe I should be using Earth Power over Earthquake. Eh, it does a little bit more, I guess. So earlier this morning, I woke up way too early. I got up at 8. <sighs> I don't think... I definitely did not need to. Now, the reason I had to get up earlier this morning was this morning I had to go to a lawyer's office. I, I had to go see a lawyer this morning, is what I'm saying. I had to go see a lawyer this morning, so I had to wake up early to do that before going to work. I was told last night that I have, we had to be there by 9.30. So, I woke up at 8 to get ready. But when I woke up at 8, no one else had woken up yet. And I'm just like, you know what? If it's that important, and if they're not awake yet, I'm sure my family knows that it's important. When they wake up, they'll call me up. So I went back to bed. And I'm pretty sure the whole 9.30 thing was a lie. Just to get me to get, get up early. Because that's what the time actually was. Was 10.30. So I got up at 8 for no reason. Uh... 
So the reason I had to go see a lawyer this, this morning is remember remember when I played this game I told you guys that I have an exam in April well the date's been updated we don't have a concrete date yet but it's no longer April now it's looking more like the exam is gonna be in June so I need to apply Ooh, we win So to apply for that exam I need to take in June, at the earliest in June, I need to, well to apply, I need to do a bunch of stuff and one of the stuff I need to do is getting a lawyer to sign paperwork, paperwork on my employment and my graduation. Because don't forget, I graduated literally the day before Scarlet and Violet came out. Like, the day before. So I needed a lawyer, an official lawyer. This is a stamp of approval or whatever. A lawyer signature to verify my employment paperwork and my graduation stuff. So that's why I had to go see a lawyer this morning. So by the time, the time I got there, I was like two minutes late. I arrived around like 10.31, 10.32. By the time I arrived at the lawyer's firm, I guess, all I had to do was I had to sign a couple of papers you know, paper that was just saying name, address, phone number, occupation, just a couple of that. And then I had to forward the email I got from my school saying congratulations, you're about to graduate, you're done, all that stuff. Uh. I had to forward that email over to the lawyer firm's email. And then I had to pay 150 bucks for the lawyer's time. But, well, actually, the, the lawyer to do stuff. Because the, the, the 15 minutes I was there, I didn't even see the damn lawyer. Whoever this lawyer was, she just got all the paperwork done beforehand. Gave it to the secretary? Whoever the hell that lady was at the office, not the actual lawyer. She already got the paperwork done before I got there. She, she already had, like, papers signed with the, all the info I need and stuff. So I went there. And there was no lawyer. The paperwork was already signed and waiting for me to pick up. All I had to do was, I guess, write down information like my name and all that stuff I said. And pay. And there we go. All the stuff I needed was done. I even, I got up early, I got up extra early this morning to see a lawyer, to talk with a lawyer. I was expecting, along the lines of like a job interview, I was expecting the lawyer, this, uh, this lady lawyer, to ask me like, okay, why did you need to see me today? What purpose do you need my verification for? I was expecting to have to basically answer an interview. Like, I didn't know what, what to expect. I was expecting that, so I got up early. You know, I shaved. I washed my hair this morning, because I didn't wash it last night. I shaved my face. I put on fancy shoes. I put on a fancy shirt. Just for me not to even see a lawyer at all. I mean, hey, great. I dressed up fancy for nothing, but great. Minimal human contact for me. Works for me. <clears throat> And 150 bucks, that's pretty cheap. I was expecting, at best, a couple hundred dollars. But no, only 150. Is it me, or does Toxic Spikes not do anything here? Because even if my Pokemon gets knocked out and it gets sent back in, it doesn't really seem like Toxic Spike does anything. Or maybe that's just because of me, I'm a poison type. 
So, I went to see a lawyer this morning, and there was no lawyer. After that, my family and I, we got, we got some Subway sandwiches before we went to work. Because I've been craving a sub sandwich for quite a while now. So I don't know how long I'm going to go for tonight. May do like an hour-ish, because I still have to work out tonight, no matter how much I don't want to. <clears throat> oh, I'm so full. I'm so bloated. I ate a lot at dinner. <clears throat> also, something else that happened today that... Uh, ooh, I can only imagine the nerves... He must have had today. So today, my sister's boyfriend broke the news to my dad. What's up? What's going on, brother? So today, today my sister's boyfriend broke the news to my dad. You know, what he wants to do. You know, he, he, he let my dad know of, uh, of some certain plans that he wants to go through with. The way I'm phrasing this makes it sound malicious and terrible. Let, let's say this. He kind of asked my dad for his blessing, kind of. Uh, it's not even exactly that. He just, he, he basically told my dad, like, he j he wants to, you know? You know, he, 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 he plans to. Isn't it early? Maybe a little bit. So my sister called me at work today because I didn't I didn't realize that they weren't together today. I thought she would be out with him. So he came to work, he came to my work. He you know was having a, a private conversation with my dad. I didn't even know he was here. My sister my sister called me, asked me, is he here? I'm like, no, you're not with him. I didn't know he was here. So I looked over, I'm like, I don't see him. Wait, I see, I see dad is talking with someone there. From the angle I'm looking at, I can't exactly see who it is. I imagine that's him. Has it been a month? Yes. I don't know if it's been a year yet. It's, a, it's been around a year. I, I'm not sure the details if it's been just under or just over. So it's been roughly a year since they were together. I think. I mean, hey, this is a horrible, uh, this is a horrible defense. It's not even a defense. I mean, hey, if you guys think a year is quick, my parents got married after what? Three months? <laughs> I mean, clearly it worked out. I, I exist, don't I? Oh yeah, my parents married super quick. Well, in, in the case of my parents' story, it's a little bit more, I don't want to say unique, more sad. It was mostly because my grandma was dying, so my dad wanted to marry while my grandma was still here. But that's besides the point. So yeah, that happened today. My sister's boyfriend broke the news to my dad so I assume that my dad sat his ass down and gave him a, a, a stern like fatherly talk and he did 
Because my dad, that's what my dad said. <clears throat> well, in a way, he didn't tell me the details. He told me that he talked to him. He, he said stuff like, you better think about this clearly because what you're talking about right now is no joke. It's a very big decision. And then, you know, fatherly talk. He, he, he also, oh, come on. He also said stuff like, like, do you believe the two of you can really work in the future? Like, do the two of you make enough money to, 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 to live together, raise a family? Like, he talked about all that stuff. <laughs> and then he was saying, like, he was probably joking about this part. He was saying, like, how, how, you know, my daughter is a princess and stuff. Which, in a way, she kind of is. My sister is very much a lazy little precious princess at home. Sure, she does a lot of paperwork and phone calls at, at work. But at home, oh god, is she lazy. Well, she's lazy at work too, but she handles the big stuff. I'm just trying to get that option in the corner to become available. Ah, uh, yes, sibling energy. I can't really be talking. I know I'm lazy as well. See, see, the, the, the two of you <laughs> commenting, that, that, that's some very single child responses right there. People with people who don't have siblings just just don't understand what it's like being a sibling and having a sibling who is lazy. <clears throat> Flexing my sister at you. Yeah, that's right. My sister does a lot of paperwork and stuff at work. But then my freaking parents always uh, use this argument, which I hate. They, they always say this stuff to me. They're saying because she's a woman, all she has to do is marry. And then she doesn't have to worry anymore because the man will make the money and do all that stuff. But because I'm the boy, I'm the son, I'm the man... I have to worry about making the money and stuff. That's what my family says all the time. My sister doesn't have to worry about getting a good job or anything. She just has to marry and, you know, she's she's set for life. But nope, not, not for me. That's the opposite for me. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like that's a very outdated train of thought. Because that's definitely what my grandpa said. My grandpa essentially taught my sister. Like, you don't need to work in life. You just need to marry to someone who has money. That's essentially what my grandpa always said. Well, if you marry someone rich. I don't remember where I saw this before, but there was this meme somewhere on the internet. It's like, all I need to do is marry someone rich. Wait. Wait, no. It's like, all I need is someone with money. And then it says, but does a man with money need you? That's the question. Well, not even a man. All I need is someone with money. But does someone with money need you? Because I can say that for myself as well. I just I just need to find a rich girl and bam, I'm set for life. But the question is, does a rich girl need me in her life? And the answer is a very easy no. Yeah, 
Yes! I think you've got the wrong answer there. Yes, she does. You have you have anything but the correct answer there. What is wrong with my game? My game froze. Oh, Terra Raids suck. You know, Game Freak actually managed to make Dynamax Adventures good. When compared to Terra Raids, Wait, what happened to my ability? When it comes to terror raids... Oh, Dynamax Adventures is... Is like the best thing you could possibly do in comparison. I didn't think it was possible, but they managed to do it. They managed to make raids worse. God, does terror raids suck in this game. It's why I haven't been doing them. I've mostly just been shiny hunting. I literally still have only two Herba Mysticas in this game, and only one in my Violet. I just haven't been doing raids, because they're terrible. <clears throat> I'm a streamer. I'll find someone. I think you were flat out wrong there. I think that claim is incorrect. That is straight up false. <coughs> I need water. So anyways, I already got this uh, this Greninja in my Violet game. I got it actually, I got it yesterday actually. So yesterday when I got this Greninja, I was debating to myself, do I just want to use this level 100 Greninja on my team or do I want to breed for one and raise one myself? And then I decided I'm probably gonna, gonna breed for one. <clears throat> So I real quick googled what the best ability for Greninja is. I got a wide assortment of options. Well, not wide. I got a handful of them. Is it available as a shiny? Not when you're raiding it like this. But once you catch it and you breed it, then yes, you can get a shiny. So I looked up what the best nature for Greninja is, and I settled on two, Hasty or Timid. So I asked a buddy of mine, he was watching this earlier, I asked him, yo, what would you say is better for Greninja, Hasty or Timid? And he said Hasty, because he has a competitive bred Hasty ability Greninja. He has one himself, Shiny. <clears throat> What's my favorite flavor of chips? Classic Doritos. I like the nacho cheese Doritos. I know, what a, what a gamer answer. Are you going to ask me what my favorite soda is and I say Mountain Dew? <laughs> what a, what a, what a... Is there a more gamer answer to that question? What's your favorite flavor chip? Well... <laughs> Nacho Cheese Doritos. I don't know, I just like the classic stuff, okay? <clears throat> I just like the... the basic. The classic. Anyways. Yeah, you said that you had a... shiny, hasty, Protein ability Greninja. And you, what'd you say? You got it in like only 62 eggs? You got that extremely lucky? You managed to get a shiny Froki with the hasty nature and protein ability? <clears throat> How lucky can one guy be? You just used up your luck for the rest of your life. <clears throat> I 
I kind of don't want to get a shiny Greninja. I know, that sounds blasphemous. Like, like the one person on Earth who doesn't want a shiny Greninja. I don't know, I, I kind of just like the normal Greninja over the shiny. I like the blue. I mean, that's not to say I won't get one someday. I don't think I have a shiny Greninja in any game. Well, I know I'm going to get one in Pokemon Go. One day, it hasn't happened yet right now. One day, there will be a, uh, a Froki Community Day. And I will get a shiny Greninja that day. But as of right now, I don't have a shiny uh, Greninja in any game. Unless you count <laughs> me owning Smash. And the black-skinned Greninja counts. <laughs> The tongue is the wrong color in that game. Shiny Froakie is light. It's slightly lighter, so I almost missed it. So you almost missed it, I mean. <clears throat> God, I'm clearing my throat so much tonight. Yeah, sometimes this game does this. Sometimes this game bugs out like this, and you can't see the fourth one. The fourth player. <clears throat> Quality game, right? Pay 90 bucks for two of these games. Technically four, but I still haven't gotten those two in the in the mail. I don't think I ever will. So yeah, at the moment, I don't really want to shiny hunt for a Greninja. Breed for a shiny Froakie, but maybe one day I will. Let me think. What what could they do next? Here's my predictions. So they already did a Charizard, Cinderace, and now Greninja. So all three have been starters. What's next? I'm betting on Greninja. Pfft, Greninja. I'm betting on Decidueye. Not only because I'm biased and I love Decidueye. But what other starters are there? Well, there's still the rest of the Gen 6 starters. Not you pre-ordering games for them to come a few years after its release date? I mean, in that case, I, I, I still wouldn't really mind, because I ordered the double pack. If I got the double pack a couple years later, hey, the value probably skyrocketed by then. Ninjas just got smited by Zeus. Thank you for healing me back up. I'm, I'm predicting the next 7-star raid will be Decidueye. Decidueye is the only Gen 7 starter in this game. Well, to be in this game. Because of Legends Arceus. Austin John, as Austin John Plays put it, No Incineroar! Slap it on with the might of Zeus. Name where that quote came from. Swear to God, if I get this, if I get this quote wrong, like if even I don't know where this quote came from, I'm pretty sure I know where it came from. It rhymes with Tron John.
Okay, I think I've used enough acid spray. Let's use let's do a chilling water. Can I terrestrialize yet? Yes. A part of me wanted to get a haircut today. Get rid of this bowl sitting on my head, kind of like how Claude Star has <laughs> essentially a bowl on its head as well. Well, uh, I was a little too lazy today. I kid you guys not, when I say I'm too lazy to do stuff, I, I swear to god, I really am. I'm still on episode 2 of my anime, and I have been for over a week now. I was going to look up my anime and watch it today, but I literally was just too lazy to do so. I am too lazy to look up and watch anime. That is how lazy I am. It wasn't even busy at work. I was sitting there all day, just finding stuff on YouTube to watch. All I had to do was look up the episode and just watch it. But I was still too lazy to do that. I have transcended beyond the next level of laziness, where I'm too lazy to literally just watch stuff. You started Chainsaw Man and stopped after episode 2? You sinner. I haven't seen the, the, the anime yet myself, but that is one I plan to watch. So knowing preemptively that you stopped, you sinner. Damn, even with the might of Zeus on her side, this thing couldn't go down. Can you guys still believe I won that Charizard raid? I even brought in something that was a horrible idea, and I still won that. Well, I didn't win. They win, and I just participated. You know, I'm thinking, after after I'm finished shiny hunting everything I want in this game, there's not really anything left for me to do in this game. At least not until the DLC comes out. I do have a handful of shinies I want, a couple of tough ones. I'm still in the process of hunting for a three-segment Dedun Sparse, and after that, I'll be doing a family of three mousehold. Because I just love torturing myself. I also want to do all three Tatsugiri, so that's going to take some time as well. solve my laziness and you literally sent me links to or you send sent me a link to to the episode no i already saw episode two so I sh i'm on episode three i should say i've seen two episodes i didn't stop watching the anime i'm just literally lazy too lazy to continue it i want to continue it but i'm too lazy for my own good
you know, I can totally see myself being the type of lazy where if so, if there's a killer after me, I would just I would just sit there like I'm too lazy. I'll let someone run away for me. Man, I was too lazy to run away. I was waiting for someone to run away from the killer for me. And that's how I ended up in hell. You know what's funny today? One of my friends, uh, my friend who's in the paramedic line of field, he told me today that, well, first of all, he changed locations of where he's working, I think. And he told me one of the first questions he got asked was, have you hit on any of the nurses yet? He's just like, bro, why was this one of the first questions I got asked? And then I kind of switch it around, like, here's a better question. Why haven't you yet? Joking, of course. Wow, you just sent me a link. When you're too lazy to be in a scary movie by Long Beach Griffey? Yes, that is essentially me. That actually is me summed up. I'll link it down below for anyone who hasn't seen it yet. <clears throat> but anyways, back to back to what I was saying. So my friend was saying how he's he he you know not interested. I, I don't remember what I asked, but I was saying along the lines of you don't you don't have any interest in nurses No, no, he asked me Do I have like a nurse fetish and then I asked him so you're not into nurses And he told me no, but it seems like you are and then I was just joking around with it I'm just like yeah, but you know with, with, with nurses you can get a thorough body check <laughs> when I was when I was texting that to him I'm just like wait a second how do I spell thorough how do I how do I spell the word thorough and then I had to literally open up Siri and I had to ask how to spell thorough T H O R O G-H. Is there a U in there? Wait. You guys ever notice how many words look that similar? The words like through, though, thought. Like how those words all just look so similar. Don't write throw. T-H-R-O-H. The Pokemon. You know, when I was a kid, I used to think that name was that name was pronounced Thra. And then I watched the anime; they pronounce it Thro, kind of like T H R O W, but instead of the W, it's like an H sound. Thro. I also used to think Sock, S A W K, was pronounced Sauk with more of a W sound. And then once again, I watched the anime, they pronounce it Sock. Kind of like Sock you wear on your feet. S-O-C-K, Sock. Greninja's tough. Are their Greninja's too tough? 
or everyone I'm raiding with sucks as much as I do. Ah, these raids really, really show who the true Pokemon Masters are. And clearly, I'm not one of them. <clears throat> I have a bunch of fruit next to me. I probably should eat them. <laughs> I have a bunch of peeled tangerines sitting next to me in a bowl. I'm not kidding you, too. Is the anime I'm watching worth watching? Yeah, it's pretty good. Well, I've only seen two episodes so far. But given how popular the anime is, and how sexy the main character is, one of the main characters is... <laughs> and I'm not talking about the kid, I'm talking about the actual adult woman here, calm down. For, for Actually, for those who don't know, I'm talking about the Spy X family, I'm talking about how sexy Yor is in that anime. I mean, it's no surprise that I'm currently watching that. And that I've literally been too lazy just to watch it. I've been planning to watch this for god knows how long. For over a year now. And I finally get off of my lazy colon. And actually start watching it. No one was thinking about the kid? Well, this is the internet. Who knows what people think here. I'm sure someone could have taken that out of context. She actually didn't show up until episode 2. But I'll try to watch more of the anime tomorrow, and I've been saying that for over a week now. me started on those hundreds and hundreds of dollars costing anime figures of your don't tempt me I literally saw one that had no clothes on it's like oh my god why you tempt me like this you know I want one I don't know how I would feel if I was a father and I saw my kid having a whole bunch of naked anime figures. <laughs> I don't know if I should be proud or it, uh, utterly disappointed. Utterly ashamed. Would I be proud like, hey, my, that, that's my boy, my boy got taste. or? Should I feel ashamed, like, oh my god, my son gets no pussy, and this is what he deals with. This is what he does to compensate. I can only imagine if my dad finds my stuff, I mean, I'm not saying I have those. <laughs> Hypothetically, if my dad fi did find stuff that I had, you know, hypothetically, talking about stuff that I own, only for this scenario, purely for this scenario, I can only imagine what would run through his mind. <clears throat> I 
I feel like I would be more worried if the scenario was the opposite. If one day I had a daughter and I find, like, I don't know, a bunch of dildos in her room. I'm just like, what the fuck is this? I feel like I'd be more worried about that than I would if one day I had a son and he just had a bunch of nude anime figures. I feel like I'd be more worried about that. That is correct, I do have that playmat. And it was found, and absolutely nothing was brought up. I think my mom <laughs> my mom found that I had a playmat and she just completely ignored it. You know what I've been actually meaning to do? I've been meaning to, I, I don't want to say clean my room, but there's a table in my room that has a, a whole bunch of crap on it that has no point being there. I'm thinking of clearing off that table and just using that as space to display a couple of things I have. Not the naked anime figures that I totally may or may not own. I'm talking about like Funko Pops, Amiibos, U2s, other stuff I collect because I kind of don't have room elsewhere. So I may as well just clear off this table that's not really being used and just put some stuff on there. Maybe I waste a little bit too much monetary value on useless plastic toys. But hey, you only live once, right? And what what is money anyways? Besides just police pieces? Pieces of plastic and metal given value by the government. You know, if the zombie apocalypse happens, money has absolutely no worth. Well, unless you unless you're lucky enough to ride out the apocalypse in a place like the Commonwealth where it is so safe and secure that they really do have uh, 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 uses for money. <clears throat> Dude, you literally sent me a link for a your figure and it is $30. Why, why you gotta do this? Why you gotta do me like this, man? Product features three and a half inches made of plastic. General safety warnings. Products sold by this may be intended for adult collectors. Products may contain sharp points, small parts, choking hazards, and other elements not suitable for children under 16 years old. <clears throat> I hate you sometimes, you know that? You send me links for so many anime figures. You sent me two more. I hate you so much sometimes. Damn. Damn, you gotta roast me like that? A f even a figure is taller than you? Oh, you, you just gotta do me like that? Why you gotta do me like that?
How tall is that figure, actually? 5.7 inches. Damn, you're saying 5.7 inches is taller than me? Not just my... <clears throat> but just my, uh... My entire person? I'm uh, I'm shorter than 5.7 inches. That's what you're that's what you're saying about me. <sighs> Not hurt at all. Not hurt one bit. Five foot seven, my bad. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You know what you said. Anyone else never buy the bullshit they they told us, saying the thing on Slowpoke's tail or Slowbro's tail is a shelter? That ain't no shelter. You know, a couple years ago, we had some data mine leaks or whatever, and this thing's actual name is Turbin, or it was. The thing on Slowbro's tail was actually meant to be like a Generation 2 separate Pokemon. Originally, I think the name was Turbin. I think that was the name. Good. Use Night Slash on the one Pokemon that is not super effective to, being me. I know Greninja probably uses Night Slash on other Pokemon and it just doesn't show me that animation. But just let, just let me lie to myself. Poison me, don't you dare poison me! You dared! Alright, how much is this Earth power gonna take? Not that much. Not that much in the slightest! I don't know, I feel like Greninja's the toughest one yet, out of the three we've gotten so far. I feel like out of Charizard, Cinderace, and Greninja, Greninja's been the toughest one yet. Then again... <laughs> You'd expect me to be pre prepared for these ones? Dude, you keep on sending me links. Well, at least this one isn't a sexy figure. This one's a Pokemon display set. Damn, I'm holding a ruler in front of me. Three and a half inches for a $30 figure. Isn't that much... Isn't that much figure at all? $30? These things... 
is expensive. Wow, thirty dollars for that. Ah, uh, I've spent I've spent more on less. I really have too. Spent eighty dollars on eBay for a shiny Genesect puny little figurine. I still have it too. Spent eighty bucks on that, and it is. Uh, let me see. How big would that be? Like an inch and a half. An inch and a half size figure, and I spent like 80 bucks on that. Listen, okay, I've been looking, I've been, I've been searching for that online for years, and when I finally saw one pop up for a mere 80 dollars, I had to get it immediately. I kid you not, I really was looking for that figure for quite a long time. I looked for it on and off, like occasionally I'd browse on eBay and look for it just in case someone was selling it. And this one time I looked, it was being sold by someone. And given how rare, like extremely rare the figure is, just $80? Of course I was going to go for it. <clears throat> it wasn't until I literally spent the money that I'm just like, oh my god, what did I just do? That's $80 gone. For, for, for what? A, a little plastic figurine? You know how many meals that 80 bucks could have given me and my family? Excuse me, I have to clear my throat really loud so I figured I'd mute myself for that. need the normal Genesect figure 2 to go with the regular one day I'll be honest out of the whole collection I only have the one which is no I have I have another the Pokemon Rumble U figures I, I only have the shiny Genesect and the white Kiram I was going to buy more I saw a listing for a shiny Pikachu and Eevee one on eBay a while back but I never bought it I was going to, but then when I looked it up, it was already sold. just do this one and then call it for tonight because I still have to work out much to my unwillingness to Because I was too lazy to work out last night, and also because... So, I didn't work out last night because I was trying to go to bed early because I thought earlier this morning I would have to wake up and be at that lawyer's firm at 9.30. So instead of working out, and then probably causing myself to be una unable to sleep for like a good hour or so afterwards, I decided not to work out last night, and instead just head to bed. But I just sat in bed gaming and watching shit for like <laughs> another hour. So me not working out did nothing. 
So because I didn't work out last night, I got I got to do double today. <clears throat> I was supposed to do treadmill last night, and today I'm supposed to do arms, just arms. But because I didn't do treadmill last night, today I got to do both arms and treadmill. My favorite. I love doing double the workout in one day. Uh you know, who am I kidding? No, I don't. I hate it. I hate doing double workouts in a single day. I hate going from weightlifting immediately to hopping on the treadmill. Matter of fact, I just hate working out, period. I just hate exercising in general. And I will never like it. Even if I start seeing results, even if I have a six-pack someday, I will still not like it. I'll like the results, but I won't like the the uh, process. The work that had to be put in to get that six-pack. is selling the rumble figures at the moment? I figured so. What just happened? <clears throat> Damn, we lost this one too. Yo, where my game at? Bruh, where where my game at for real? One more? Let's do one more. One more and then we'll call it for tonight. <laughs> I sent my friends uh, the link that was just sent to me. The, the 3.5 inches. I told him the size is average. And he's just like, that's huge! 3.5 inches? It's massive!
Alright, let's just do this last one and we'll call it there for tonight. <laughs> really said that's huge massive If I didn't use these acid sprays, imagine how much damage we would actually do had I not used these. Then again, I'm, I haven't really been paying attention to the moves everyone else has been doing. I don't know if they've been doing special or physical attacks. If they've been doing physical, well, then my acid sprays, sprays, at my acid sprays are pointless. Still done nothing off of this thing's HP. Oops. I'm sorry, I was looking at my phone. Chunk, but not enough to win. It's okay. We got one win, or was it two? I think uh, we'll just say one for now. I only, I know we did one for sure because I actually caught the Greninja. So we got one win. <clears throat> I forgot to. I think I forgot to mention this. I kind of got cut off with my own story. I was saying how my friend got lucky with the shiny damn near perfect Greninja. I did breed for a Froakie of my own. So I bred for a hasty nature protein ability Greninja. And I did get one. Luckily in the first batch of eggs. Well, maybe one day, someday, I will hunt for a shiny Froakie in this game to get a shiny Greninja. But not right now. Right now I'm hunting for Orthworm. Orthworm is taking Shiny Orthworm is taking priority over Shiny Greninja. Because that's the life I live. That's the decisions I make in life. 
I don't know if shiny orthworm reminds anyone else of this. <clears throat> the red orthworm turning to a blue shiny reminds me of Lightning McQueen. Remember when Lightning McQueen turned blue for a while? That's what it reminds me of. I had a blue Lightning McQueen, Lightning McQueen toy, toy car as a kid and I loved it. The simple concept of turning something red to blue sold me. I wish I knew where that toy was now. I could probably eBay a new one. One that doesn't have any scratches, wear and tear, or have been touched by my young snotty hands. Well, we end on a failure, but we got one win, so it's been a successful stream, I'll say. Yeah, I'm gonna call it there. We're not really doing anything besides failing. I'm gonna call it there for tonight. We got one Greninja, we caught... We're only allowed to catch one anyways. So we caught the one Greninja. So I'd say that's a win. That's a success. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna call it there for tonight. So, thanks for watching, everyone. And goodbye.